Ends as this top championship fixture gets off and underway. It's speared in towards the penalty area. McBurn oh. is rising and it goes backwards and it's cleared. The red and white shirts come forward. McBurney helping it out wide. Stevens oh. with a teasing ball in. To Rory's corner. Looped into the uh, penalty area towards the edge of it. Egan with an unchallenged header gets it clear. Ian Matson will scramble and keep it in play over on the far side and drives in on the angle from the left. Into the box it goes. Backpedalling Robertson heads it away. And the shot goes into the net. And Burnley, the league leaders, have the lead via the cruelest of deflections underneath the Bramall Lane cop. The shot was fired goalwards. I think it cannoned off Jack Robinson and flew past Wes Fodringham, who couldn't then get across. And it's Sheffield United nil, Burnley won. The ball is bent into the penalty area. McBurney's header lashed up in the air by the defender. The blades come again through Norwood. Lovely ball in with the outside of his right boot, but it's headed clear to the right. Osborne will get it back to the edge of the box. Egan crashes onto the ball. It's all a little untidy. So a corner then for... Uh, Burnley, in it goes and unmarked Taylor Harwood Bellis for late arrivers. One of them's McBurney with the header crashing yes! onto it. And Sheffield United do have an equaliser, and it's you who know who who's got it. Nine for the season for Elliman and Jay, who was able to convert from close range. Sheffield United needed that against the league leaders, and it's Elliman and Jay who scores again. Nine for the season, three in three, and it's Blades one, Burnley one. McBurney comes again, rolling on to Elliman and Jay inside the penalty area. Oh, a lovely back flick to bring in Baldock, but he just couldn't retain possession. And Burnley now struggle to get it clear. Benson, though, is the release valve down the right. Off he canters to the edge of the penalty area. The ball's pulled back in a little fortuitously. The ball will come here through to Zarori. Zarori will take it. The ball floats high into the penalty area, attacking the clearance. McBurney out to Madsen, oh, who drills the shot. Osborne cuts in field to Norwood. First time ball along the deck by Norwood again. He's beginning to conduct. In goes oh, the cross, and far. the ball will drop here now to Stevens. Yo! Deflected by McBurney Goldwoods, blocked on the line. Stevens follows up again, trying to challenge, then go long, a little bit more route one, but as uh, Teller was the target on the edge of the box, it was uh, telegraphed towards Wes Fodringham, and now Robinson's lost out, here's Benson in the box, and Sheffield United are made to pay, hopelessly sloppy at the back, and the one player you didn't want the ball to drop to was Manuel Benson, who gave Jack Robinson a torrid time, cantered into the penalty area, opened up his body, shaped a shoot to the left of the goalkeeper, West Fodringham, and the shot nestled in the bottom left-hand corner of the net. Sheffield United, the masters of their own downfall there, having got back on top, and it's Sheffield United 1, league leaders Burnley 2. Burnley will look to go further clear at the top of the table. So half-time, the whistle has just been blown. So Robinson will prepare to take the uh, throw-in. The black towel has been used to wipe the moisture off the ball. The throw-in launched high into the penalty area. There's four around McBurney, the target, and Burnley get it away, only as far as Robinson again. This time a cross floated in. Ahmed hugs it, and a goal! And it's scored by Oli McBurney! Sheffield United waste little time in the second half in getting back on terms against Burnley. Brilliantly crafted goal, and Oli McBurney with a diving header has Bramall Lane in raptures. All square again, Blades 2, Burnley 2. Ushered wide again by Fleck, who stood his ground. Stevens beaten a little too cheaply by Vitinho, and they're queuing up here as Vitinho pirouettes over the ball, gets to the dead ball line. Cullen's shot is blocked there. Well, he's conceded two already. Norwood brings in the free oh, kick. Yeah! Oh, that's that's ball. Ball. And Sheffield United will be denied their third goal. Trailing 2 1 at the oh. break, and Edmund Hudzic with the overhead kick from just inside the box. 
It spliced away from goal. Murich didn't have to make a save. Norwood's corner from the right-hand side then. Speared in at the near post. Stevens the target, partially cleared away. Out it goes to Osborne. Cries of shoot. Well, he did so. Six red and white shirts in the penalty area to aim at. Norwood and Osborne a little further afield. In it goes! Yes! And the header crashes off the bar. Yes! Goal scrambles! And it's gone in! And Sheffield no. United have taken the lead! And would you believe it? It's Jack Robinson, whose own goal started the scoring here at Bramall Lane. Well, isn't that swift redemption for Jack Robinson, who's mobbed by his teammates and celebrated by all around here at Bramall Lane. It was a goal mouse scramble, and Jack Robinson was Johnny on the spot right in the nick of time. And Sheffield United lead in this engrossing championship encounter by three goals to two. And here's Illiman and Jai looking for another through it comes to McBurney yeah. oh saved by the legs of Murich Norwood's corner from the right in it goes yeah. and it's a fingertip save by Ari Murich at full stretch in comes another oh. corner this time it's a diving save trying to make hay while the sun shines here Norwood's corner in it goes out to Osborne goal now scramble again shooting yeah. and at last Anel Ahmed Hodzic has scored He's had one effort saved, he's had one effort crash off the bar, but as the ball dropped to his feet, it was a beautiful turn in a congested penalty area, and he swept it in from close range, and Sheffield United have swept into a 4-2 lead against the league leaders. Fantastic, fantastic stuff at Bramall Lane. Well, 4-2 to Sheffield United, and Bulldogs ghosting through! Oh, oh and a chance yeah! for who scores firing into an empty net at the Bramall Lane cop end he slides on his knees in celebration the Blades have come back emphatically from 2-1 down at half time and lead by five goals to two and Ollie McBurney has been the league leader's tormentor in chief today what an individual performance from him capped by two cracking goals and Sheffield United are on for three massive points it's Sheffield United 5, Burnley 2. Slipping it down the line towards Illiman and Jai. Great <laughs> shift of the feet as he jinks into the penalty area to the ball <laughs> and pull, pull back and it's swept away by Cullen. Long throw in from Robinson. Murich comes, gets some fingertips to it. Norwood crashes it in. And in the end, it's knocked behind. As this ball comes in, Harwood Bellis and the save is made. Burnley, who, let's remind ourselves, were 16 and beaten coming into the game today and led at half time. Are going to head back to Turf Moor with nothing. As the free kick is taken, the referee blows his whistle.